I say I'm good with my hands, I mean like I, I'm more like a great mime. Okay, show me your mime, because I'll do a mime. Once upon a time, there was a truck. What? <laughs> what? Here with Giancarlo Canella. How are you? Round two, ding. It's, how long has it been? Oh, a week since you've been here. Giancarlo Canella. Wow. This is because you have so many projects. It has not been a week, Nikki. It has, it has not been a I week. I like to exaggerate. I love to be here. I love Young Hollywood. Do this you? Is that why you decided I to do I feel at home. I feel at home. I feel at home. I feel like I can like, do anything I want here. Okay, go ahead. What, what else would you like to do? This is how it's going to start. How's your jacket? I'm good. My jacket's good. Thank you. Comfy? I've been told to not move 17 times before we started this interview because my jacket's he apparently doing something weird. This is exactly. how famous you're becoming. You have people. <laughs> I have people you telling have me jacket handlers. what to do. She's the famous one. She's the famous one <laughs> Keep here. Keep going. I'm not the one in the passion, okay? I'm not the one with an album coming I know, out. No, I know. The passion. The, the passion. Album. Jesus um, was by trade a carpenter. Right, yes he was. Are you handy? I'm very skilled with my hands. So could, are you like a woodworker kind of thing? I'm like a, are you, are you, could, I, are, would you be like the kind of guy around the house that the woman says, honey, this is broken? When I say I'm good with my hands, I mean like, I, I'm more like a great mime. Okay, show me your mime, because I'll do a mime. Wait, we gotta do it this way, or they'll be like, huh, we don't, can't tell Look, how good what she am I, is. Check this out, check this out. What am I gonna do Wait, right I'm gonna peek around the corner, hold on. I'm oh, about to paint, I'm about, I'm about to do, make a story for you guys okay, with ahead. my hands. Once upon a time. There was a truck. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. First That's of all, what I said. It's my interpretation. Hold on, hold on a second. Where did you see Once Upon a Time? Where, <laughs> where did I do? <laughs> no, no, no. I went like this. How is Stop this in the name Once of Upon love. a Time? <laughs> Once Upon a Time, and I went like this. There was a truck. Oh, is this that dance that? Well, that's like, that's like if I were to say, that's like if you were to do this and I were to say, it's Monday morning and I'm making pudding. Like, okay. it's like, what, what? So I want to talk about your music because you have an album coming out, your fourth album. So I yes. want to know a little bit about that. It's, look. It's called Handsome? It's, no, what? What? Who told you that? Oh, Nikki, are you hitting on me? Was that like a, like a line? Was that like I a line? I didn't say anything. You got me blushing, girl. Stop, stop. Growing up, I heard the Beatles. I heard mostly Sting, uh, Lionel Richie, uh, Prince. Michael Jackson is a huge influence. We have people like Monsters and Strangers. They produce everyone from One Direction to Maroon 5 to Selena, uh, Nick Jonas, uh, which is doing awesome stuff. And we have Justin Tranner, Julia Michaels on the writing staff. They wrote Sorry for Justin Bieber. They wrote uh, Look Good for You, Enhanced to Myself for Selena. I mean, they're, they're doing some awesome music. When y'all hear all those influences meshed in one with a little bit of, you know, what, what we do and, uh, and that contemporary sound, you know, it's, it's rhythm and romance. Are you hitting on me again? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, always, always, Nikki. What's your favorite ballad of all time? My favorite ballad of all time. What's your favorite ballad of all time? Help Don't me stop believing. That's not a ballad. That's not a ballad, Nikki. <laughs> to me it is. No, it's not. It's got like, like that's Just like a, a that's like a, that's like the epic karaoke song. That's not a ballad. Like, unbreak my heart. Yes. Those are ballads. Okay. Not Don't okay. Stop Believing. Okay, okay, My heart will go on, Celine Dion. That's a beautiful ballad. Congratulations, that's great. What's um, yours? No one cares about mine. Um. Oh, I have a great one. Damn you, Bruce Willis, because you always get me at the end of Armageddon uh, with that scene. Oh. Every time I watch Armageddon, Aerosmith. every time when Aerosmith comes in and, and, and Bruce is, is just puts his hand on the glass door. It gets me only that and Toy Story when he leaves the toys behind. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, he when he leaves to the toys totally behind, end, other when, end they're the, the same. Emotionally, <laughs> they are. The, they have the same weight. They, in Toy Story, when he leaves the toys behind and you see Woody and Buzz like, you know, they're like <laughs> just watching him go and you're like, oh no, Andy, go, don't leave them, they're alive. It's just, it's heartbreaking. Somebody once cast you because they said you had gentle eyes and someone said, I don't know who it was, the director or who it was, said that that was the cl what clinched this role for you, is that you had gentle eyes. My gentle eyes? Yes. Like Jen, like Jen Carl, like my, je like Jen? And he puns. Huh? No pun intended? He had Jen. He had gentle. Jen. Jen, J-E-N. That'll be your rapper name. That's, gentle. Yo, gentle in the house. What's <laughs> up? Rapping in the passion. The passion. Passion. You have a lot of passion, though. 
yes. But is it the same kind of, it's not the same kind of passion, or is it the same kind of passion? It is the same kind of passion. Okay, it, it, we're not trying to cater this show to a Christian community solely. Right. You know, the, the Christian community, the religious community, they're going to be able to see this and, of course, identify with it. And we're grateful to have their support, you know, the way we've had it till now. Yeah. Uh, because we are staying true to the biblical sense of the story. But there's a reason why our, our wardrobe is modern. The songs that were chosen to tell this story, Love Can Move Mountains by Celine Dion, Home from Philip Phillips, Unconditionally from Katy Perry, Demons from Imagine Dragons. These are songs that we know very well, but they've never been heard within this context. So It's so genius. It's, it's genius because you're yeah. speaking to not a specific group, but you're speaking to everyone now. This story is about love, unity, hope, forgiveness, acceptance, those are all things that we can all relate to. I don't care if you're atheist, Buddhist, or in Jewish. <laughs> we just, Hope, we need honesty, that. Honesty, loyalty. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Exist. And there's betrayal, there's anger. Well, there's a lot of that we see a lot of things here that we can apply to our day-to-day -day lives. It's for our generation. Yeah. It's for our time to be able to relate and identify so with no the story. So no beard and you're going to be dressed like this. Yes, ma'am. If you were to grow <laughs> the beard, how long would it take you? Because you're not hair challenged. My team, we walk around with a, with a razor. And every 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 30 minutes I have to trim it. So should we cut so you can shave? We should. At, at some point I'm going to have to I'm going to have to trim the beard. Okay. In so let interview. us know. Would you like to take us out with your mime and your gentle eyes? Okay, but we let's do it together. Are we freestyling it? Yeah. Come on. Interpret this story, young Hollywooders out there. Yeah,